is a really good video. Time. Time machines. Who believes that a time machine is feasible? Anybody? Who believes that it's a science fiction idea of a time machine is possible? Who believes that it's just a matter of time before it gets invented and before people can use this time machine? Okay. Now, how many of you just don't know? You're just not sure you've heard of a time machine and you're like, well, I know what the concept is, but I'm not sure if it could be or, uh, you know, whatever. Okay. What I'm going to do in this video is explain to you why a time machine is impossible. It will never be invented. There's nothing to define what's a time machine, because there are other things that are connected to it that are possible. There are ways of altering our consciousness of time. But a time machine, the standard connotation, definition, meaning of a time machine, that is an impossibility. And after I explain all this, I'm going to also repeat to you what I'm saying to you now. You are crazy if you think a time machine is going to be invented. Crazy as in insane, nuts, having a few screwy loose. And you know what, you say Because you want to be respected for your scientific knowledge, just like myself. I want to be respected. I want to take part in serious discussions. And also, technology, science, all these developments, I want to be a part of that. All right. You can't, if you're crazy enough, to hang out to this fantasy of time machine. All right, let's, let me get into the proof. Is there something wrong with this thing? Is there something wrong with this thing? There's something wrong with this? Sir, sir, you are in the future. Sure. You are in the future. Time. Sir, sir, is there... What is it? There's something wrong. Time is perceived because of the persistence of memory or just the existence of the memory itself. I mean, memory, by its definition of what it is, is persistent. So just because memory can exist, we feel time, we experience time. But actually, there's only one, one moment, the moment that exists. All we have is the moment. This is all you ever have. Within that moment is this nebulous field of possibility that we seem to think about in our subconscious and our, we pull our ideas, our dreams, and our fantasies from it. This infinite field of in so-called alternate universes is within at the moment. But it doesn't mean that that's reality. It doesn't mean that that exists. It exists only as an idea. And it can never be in this moment until that moment arrives, you see. You see, if you accept the moment, that's reality. You can work on changing it as we go to the next moment, and the next moment. See, the moment keeps moving through the predestined path. So think about that. Destiny and fate are tied up with this idea of time and a moment. People that are obsessed with free will tend to believe in the time machine. People that are obsessed with free will and there's a stage of uh, proving their freedom. We all do that, I do, but you can't let it get out of control because as soon as you do that, you realize that you don't really believe it, but you have a free will. You're groping around trying to seek proof of that. See, I already believe that we have it. We have it to a certain extent. That's what it means. Free will. Free will is not to extend beyond that to where it will, will ruin the whole uh, time and space, destiny, fate, but what's been ordained. 
most people can uh, tell with that. It not always seems that way, but that's not, uh, you know, what's going on. But that's not the real understanding of reality. Let me just put the devil's advocate here so that you can see where time cannot be altered. What to say? The moment. The moment cannot be tampered with. Say I was to step out of time. That means that after this date, August 3rd, I no longer exist. So I go back to, let's say, uh, 777, July 7th, and I want to take a look again at 777. And all of a sudden, I bump into myself. I mean, not, not, not saying that I was there, but <laughs> I bumped into Peter Appleseed. I say, whoa, hey, what are you doing here? And at that point, I freak out. I told you, I'm like, let me get some Prozac, let me put me in the straight jacket right away. No, no, this, hey, this can't happen because then all of a sudden there's two moving along and we get to August 3rd again and there's two of us. And then again, I decided to go back to 777. A third time. 777. And I see myself looking at myself. So all three of us get together. And at that point, I'm like, listen, if you can't keep me in the straight jacket, just shoot me. Because this is, this is really confusing. So then we go all along, all three of us. We're all the same guy. <laughs> three mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be serious. And we get to August 3rd, and there's three of us out. I'm like, what? Who created a fucked up universe like this? And you know what I'm about to tell you? I, I shouldn't have to continue. <laughs> I should. <laughs> oh, God. I sh I hate those movies about it, like Back to the Future. I mean, come on, forget about it. That's gay.